Hi everybody, so today I am doing a back to school makeup tutorial which I believe is also a office appropriate, just everyday appropriate makeup tutorial. It's really soft and neutral except for the kind of bold black eyeliner, but to me it's not bold because I have little eyes and they need help. So yeah, back to school makeup tutorial. I haven't recorded a video in a really long time. I have been busy out in the world doing whirly things, so... I hope the quality of this video is up to your standards. Please let me know if there's anything that I can do to improve it. And the other thing I want to mention is that the only thing that I used in this makeup tutorial that I am not sure that is 100% cruelty free is the BH Cosmetics 28 Neutral Palette. I am not sure if this is 100% cruelty free. I've done research. Most of the research indicates that it is, but there is still some ambiguity there. And because of that ambiguity, I want to go ahead and inform you guys about the possibility of this not being cruelty free, but everything else is. I try to use relatively affordable products. There's a few that aren't relatively affordable, like the Too Faced Natural Face, but um, it's not relatively affordable. And um, I used a Sephora brush that uh, is or isn't affordable. I mean, it just really depends on if you find it on sale, which I did, or if you can't find it on sale. So, yeah, I hope that you guys like this look. Um, please let me know if there's anything that I could have done to improve the quality of this or if you have any requests. So, enjoy. Bye. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and apply some moisturizer all over my face just to prep my skin for makeup. I'm using Jaffa Royal Jelly Moisturizer. Make sure that you let it settle in a bit before applying your primer. You can use a primer of your choice. This one is by Tarte. Just a little bit will do. Just apply it all over for all day wear of your face makeup. Now I am taking a tinted moisturizer. This one is by Sunny Kashuk in the color linen. I recommend a tinted moisturizer. I am taking a Sephora airbrush foundation brush and just applying that generously all over my skin because I am not going to be using concealer. Even though I should, but I'm not. I'm just applying that circular motions, a little bit down my chin as well. Now I'm going to take my hands and with the heat of them just kind of push the tinted moisturizer into my skin and just going over a little bit of my trouble areas. Once more, now I am taking an eye primer. This one is by Tarte, it's the Creases Eye Primer. And using my ring fingers, I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid and underneath my lash line as well. Now I am taking a BH Cosmetic 28 Neutral Palette with a flat shader brush and I am applying this iridescent curly white on my mobile lid. I am packing the color on there because it's not very pigmented and if you would like it to show up, I recommend packing it. Next I am taking these two skin tone colors and mixing them together and applying that as my brow bone highlight. Now I am taking a fluffy blending crease brush. I'm taking this very soft cocoa brown color and applying that into my crease in windshield wiper motions. Now I'm going to take this cool shimmery cocoa brown and I'm going to use the same brush and just apply that to my outer beam. Blending it slightly, yet softly, into the crease color. Now I am taking my Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil and the color is Champagne Toast. And I'm applying that to my lower lash line as well as my waterline. I'm using my ring finger to blend it out. Now I am taking a slanted brush and I am taking a medium cool brown and I am filling in my eyebrows. Because it's a powder, it's going to be a very soft, very natural effect. Just go over any sparse areas and shape them if you need to. Now I am taking my Stila Liquid Eyeliner. This is an amazing liquid eyeliner that's really going to stay put all day. I have yet to encounter another liquid eyeliner that has quite as much color as this one. And I am creating a slightly bold mini cap moon. You can just follow your natural lash line if you like, but I personally really love eyeliner, so this is as natural as I can get them. Uh, make sure it's even, because it's not cute when you're Now taking any brown that you'd like, 
just go underneath your lower lash line. Now I am taking my Milani Runway Mascara and I'm applying generous coats to my eyelashes. I didn't curl them. You can go ahead and curl your eyelashes if you like. I have no eyelashes to curl, so I don't. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my lower lash lines. Lash? Lashes. Yes, my lower lashes. Now I am taking the Sephora Airbrush Powder Brush and I am taking a soft colored bronzer that complements my skin tone and I'm going underneath the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on the side of my temple and underneath my jawline just to kind of sculpt my face a bit. Now taking a slanted powder brush, I'm applying some blush to the outer portion of my cheekbone and highlighting my nose, my cubicles, underneath my lips and the side of my cheekbones. I am now taking the lip gloss by e.l.f. and mauve and I'm applying it generously to my lips to create a nice full appearance. This is the entire look you guys. I hope that y'all liked it. Y'all have a nice day.